inning, I think both teams were were battling for space on the ice, and I think that the uh, our penalty killing let us, you know, let them take some of the emotion and the momentum in the hockey game and put it in their favor. Randy, at 3-1, you made a switch and, and got Getzloff. You kind of went Getzloff, McDavid, and, and that seemed to work for you. Is that a look that we'll continue to see? Is that something that will evolve as the series moves along? Well, it was based upon where the face-offs were. It was more about getting offensive zone face-offs, and Getzloff, I thought, had a big game for us. I moved uh, Raquel in up with him uh, for the third period and moved Richie back. And it was that, that type of mentality that I didn't think we were getting enough uh, from our group and just trying to stimulate some other people to get involved in the game. I didn't think we had a, a full contingent of people playing to their highest level, that's for sure. Yep, Randy, just uh, anything on Kevin Bieksa, was, was there any chance or no chance on him returning tonight? Or? A lower body injury, and, you know, he's, uh, he's obviously uh, didn't finish the game, so he'll have uh, uh, an uh, evaluation done tomorrow morning, and we'd have more tomorrow at this time. We'd bet no better. It'll take, you know, you, it always takes at least uh, five or six hours after the assessment, and then to get a determination of the extent of the injury. Uh, obviously not happy with the outcome, but to see your um, team come back and score two quick goals like that, uh, resiliency, I guess. Yeah, we have some resiliency. Uh, you know, we made a mistake on the winning goal, which is, you know, that which is the one that sticks in your, in your, uh, as a coach, because we didn't have our position in the neutral ice. And, there's no way that we should allow Larson to skate from the top of his circle into our zone unimpeded. There should have been a second layer just past the red line, and and we fell back and and give him, gave him the room that was necessary. And he threw the puck in the net, and it goes in off of our our defenseman. But in reality, you know, we we really couldn't think that we're going to win every game. We've had so much success that. You know, 16 or whatever the number of games is that sometimes things are not going to go your way every night, but it does. It stings because it's a playoff game and we battled back and we had a lead in it and then we battled back from a 3-1 deficit to make it 3-3 in our building. It was, and those are the positives that you're going to try and build on with your group. But we have to have we have to more, have more from our group group for the next game. Simple as that. Uh, Randy, just just jumping off on that, was this first game a, an indication of just how even these these teams are? Yeah, I, you know, I I think that if you saw the intensity level and the skating ability of both hockey clubs, you know, you're very well aware of how it, you know how close the teams are from a matchup standpoint and from an, an energy standpoint. That's the the way the game went back and forth, the momentum swings, and I think they won the specialty teams battle in the end and. That probably was the difference in the game. I think they scored two power play goals, and we scored one. Randy, the uh, penalties that you guys drew, I mean, how, you know, could you just assess those in terms of how many of them were, you thought were, you know, penalties you shouldn't have taken, penalties that were necessary? Well, you know, again, you know, uh, the officiating has one side of the story, and there's all this, uh, I'm sure their hockey club's happy with some of the penalties that they they drew uh, um, against us. Uh, we're unhappy with some of the things that that uh, were, were called tonight and some of the things that weren't called, but I don't think this is the forum to really discuss it because I think uh, we haven't had a good enough look at it. We'll assess where that is, as, as we always do, but it's it's moot point at this point. It's, uh, the game's over. They beat us. Uh, we lost 5-3. They have a one nothing lead in the series, and now we have to... Uh, make sure that uh, the next game that we play is the most important game of the year. And you, you've heard me say that, but I don't think it's, a, it's gotten any bigger than, than what it would be come Friday night. Randy, with the, the Kessler line getting the tying goal in the third, w was there an effort there to try to give them better offensive looks, better offensive opportunities in the third? 
Well, it was it was based upon where the faceoffs were. We were down three one. Felt that um, that the, the way that the game was developing, that we needed to to, to put our best people on the ice in, in the offensive zone. And off of two faceoffs, the first goal was a big goal that, that Getzloff won the, the faceoff back to uh, I think Mont Montour, and he threw the puck to the net, and uh, Patrick Eves uh, deposited the rebound. And very similar from a standpoint that we were on a rush, three on two rush, and, and Cogliano threw the puck at the net, rebound, and Silverberg, I think he tapped it out of the air. Those are the type of goals that are scored in the NHL now. It's not the, the fancy goals. We have to get more into the dirty area, direct more pucks at the net with people going to the net. And that's, that's the basis of my assessment is we have to get more people involved emotionally, physically, in the next game, that's for sure.